to Denver. with a better view just ask if there's just like an equal room with a better view because I'm literally looking at a parking deck and an office building and construction um, it's not terrible but it would be kind of nice to have like maybe a little bit more privacy like these windows are big I'll show you in a second I'll do like a room tour um, but yeah I took the train from the airport uh, and then took the free mall ride bus um, to the street that I'm on <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna go get some lunch right now because I'm starving. I'm actually really really tired too. I've been awake for uh, longer than I usually am. <laughs> I mean I woke up really early so I might go get lunch and I haven't decided if I'm gonna like walk around and shop a little bit after or if I'm gonna come back here and like Maybe take a nap before I go back out for dinner. Um, I'm really excited. I was a little bit nervous on the plane, like it got really warm and so I started to kind of have like anxiety and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have anxiety this whole trip, but no, I feel a lot better now. Um, traveling alone is basically like traveling with people, but it's just lonely. <laughs> but at least I get this whole king size bed by myself. But um, let's do a room tour. So you walk in, there's full length mirror. It makes you look very short, and very squat, <laughs> it's fine. Um, coffee machine, perfect, perfect. Okay, I was hoping wherever I stayed had some tea, but I'm gonna go to a tea place tomorrow. Um, safe, blah, blah, blah. Um, that's the closet. So everything's like pretty much open here. Um, so as you can see, there's like the view, the bed, and then the bathroom isn't separate. Um, flip some lights on, that might help. Ooh, yellow. Um, so then you like walk right in. There's this. Um, the bathroom, you can see it's open. This is actually the shower door. Um, I like the shower. It's big. And the toilet, which, um, is closed off like a little bit. But if you're staying with someone you're not really friends with, don't really recommend this. Um, TV and some storage. There's not like a dresser, but you can watch Netflix, um, YouTube, Hulu, all of that on the TV. Um, I got the king size bed, so big bed. It's okay. It's um, kind of firm. <laughs> a little chair and a reading light, and then this is the view. So as you can see, there's um, shoot, my memory card's running out. Um, Construction over there, office building there, parking deck there. Um, the mountains are like over there. So my memory card's dying. I'm gonna have to clean that off. So that's what I'll do after lunch or maybe when I'm at lunch. Um, and then I'll check in later. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. You don't wanna see where this is bouncing, but just got back to my hotel room and it is six o'clock here, <laughs> but um, obviously it feels later. I'm starting to kind of feel that whatever they call it where you go to like high altitude and you get like a little coffee. I went to dinner at 
blue sushi. They have a happy hour um, special, like whole big menu. And I've been craving sushi lately, so I ate that for dinner. I got two rolls and I could only finish one and a half. And then I got um, crab rangoons and I could only eat two. So <laughs> I don't know, I'm not like super hungry today. I mean, that would kind of like, you could count that as like a fourth meal, I guess. Not really actually a third meal, but it feels like fourth meal, how late it is. Um, and then I went, well, before I went to eat, I went to um, Denver Pavilions, which is like, just like a kind of like outdoorish mall that's right around the corner from the hotel. I went to H&M. I wanted to go for Uniqlo, um, cause I've never been in a Uniqlo store. But I've shopped from them online, um, but I didn't really find anything. I tried some things on, but I didn't find anything. And then um, just got like a tank, two tanks from H&M. And then I went to dinner. And then I just kind of like walked up and down 16th Street. Um, I think they call it 16th Street Mall. But I just walked up and down after dinner. I sat at the bar. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever eaten dinner out by myself before. I sat at like the sushi bar. There was like one other girl my age who was there by herself and then like a guy who was like my age by himself and it was just we were like kind of like two seats apart like both of us and so it was kind of awkward because we were like far enough to where far enough away to where we like couldn't really talk but close enough to where it was awkward if we didn't talk. Um, so I like kind of talked to the girl a little bit but the guy didn't really say anything to me so now I'm going to take my makeup off. I'm going to try this that they have at the hotel. I don't know if it's going to. And uh, hopefully it's good. Let's see. I have more in my bag. But oh yeah. This looks fine. It's going to feel so good to take this off. And then I might jump in the shower and wash my body. I'm breaking out so bad. I might do a mask tonight. I brought, um, let's see if I have it here. I brought, hey, where'd I put it? Oh no, it might be in my liquids. I brought one of my Peter Thomas Roth um, travel masks, the hydrating one with aloe, because I thought my skin would be dry and it is pretty dry. Also, I bought, um, a makeup cleansing balm from Ulta and I wanted to bring it but it didn't really fit in my bag in my little makeup bag but I have realized that I hate using makeup wipes for my eye makeup because you just like really tug on your eyes and that can't be good for them by the way I bought a new um, makeup travel bag and it's from, wow, everything's falling apart. It is from Base, which is Shea Mitchell's travel line and it's just like a square like dop kit that only zips open on one side and then it has like this little Sorry, it's so bright that you can barely see, but it has this little light pocket. I have my palette in there. And then it has a magnetic um, brush thing that comes out. And it also comes with a mirror that like stands up so you can use it to do your makeup. And then it has like a big pouch here with two little pouches here. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just show you what I bought too. Um, so I brought all my makeup in here, and then I bought the travel size Dove um, dry shampoo because everyone says that the Dove dry shampoo is really good, and I've never tried it before. I tried it before I went out, and I, I do like it. I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. Uh, I brought a hairspray, but I don't really plan on doing my hair just in case I wake up tomorrow. It looks terrible. Um, and then I brought this, uh, I just bought this Origins Ginseng 
eye cream. I forgot to put this on this morning, but I'll definitely need it tomorrow. You could tell from my photos I forgot to put it on because my eyes were so puffy from waking up early. I brought my Laneige uh, lip mask. Love this thing so much. And then I brought my Peter Thomas Roth water drench. Yeah, water drench moisturizer. This came with my mask set that I got for Christmas and I love it so I'm probably gonna buy it uh buy the full size and then I brought this Zara um roller perfume I haven't used it yet I don't really don't use perfume that much my favorite is Prada Candy and I really don't use any other kind but for travel purposes this smells pretty good and it was like eight dollars and then this is the cucumber gel mask I don't know where I got aloe from it literally doesn't have aloe oh yeah it does <laughs> it's the last ingredient so this is a pretty good mask. I use it when I'm sunburned or like at the beach. Um, otherwise, I don't really use it. And then I found this um, in my travel kit uh, when I was packing. And I haven't used this in a long time, but I thought I would bring it now because I've been hearing a lot about toner and just... I think I'm going to use it tonight. I do really want to relax. So, that's what we're going to do. It's 9 o'clock at home, so that's almost my bedtime. morning <laughs> okay it's 6 30 I've been awake since like 5 45 <clears throat> probably which is probably about the time I wake up normally at home too all oh, the hair kind of <laughs> did okay last night um I guess it's like the lack of humidity compared to at home. So I need to fix up some of these ends down here, but um, I'm going to put my makeup on, get dressed, and then I'm going to take the mall ride to, which is like the light rail, not light rail, streetcar, <laughs> to Union Station, I'm gonna pick up my rental car and go to Boulder. And hopefully Union Station has coffee. I'm pretty sure it would, but all right, let's do my makeup. <laughs> straightener in a couple weeks like maybe a couple months so this looks <laughs> weird to me now curling my hair with a curling iron I bought like a new one all the ones I had were like the wrong size for my hair but ever since I yeah, started curling it with a curling iron everyone like has <laughs> been complimenting it so I feel like People maybe just like my hair that way better. I just can't decide what... I didn't want to bring my curling iron and my straightener on this trip. I kind of forgot how to do this. <laughs> it's like not looking how I remember. That's better. If you're wondering, I do like a in-depth um, how to curl your hair with a straightener on this YouTube channel. I think I actually did two of them. One of them was my first ever video. And then I did an updated one too. I didn't brush my hair today. I feel like I kind of should have. I mean, I guess it's not too late, but I kind of want to use the messiness to my advantage. So if you have noticed, um, how I've been styling my hair differently and you want a tutorial on that let me know but 
Ooh, my hair's dark back here. <laughs> huh. Wow. I can't decide if I should go dark again. Um, anyways, if you want a tutorial on how I style my hair with a curling iron, I can do one, but it's not like revolutionary. Okay. I just got to Boulder. Um, what I didn't show, I, may, I might show in some photos um, here from what I took, but uh, I went and picked up my rental car. It took forever. So that's kind of annoying because I got there right at 7.30 and I didn't get out till 8. Um, I went in Union Station. And I got a coffee from, uh, I don't remember now, Pig Train. I can't take the thing off, but this is it. Pretty good. Um, and then I picked up my car. So the situation with the car was I pre-reserved for a Mini Cooper. And um, I was really excited because I like Mini Coopers and I've always wanted to drive one. And it was actually like a Countryman, which is like the bigger Mini Cooper. And I got there and she's like, we don't have any of those. So we do have a Cadillac CTS. And I was like, oh, I love those. I, Cause I used to drive one of those. And she's like, it's just $40 more. I was like, um, my reservation's $42. I don't want to double that. And I was like, do you have anything that's less, um, like $42? She's like, no, we really don't. And I was like, well, shoot, <laughs> this is a waste of time. And so I was like, okay, well, what do you have that's cheaper? And she was like, well, have you ever rented with us before? And I said, no. She's like, well, I think I can help. So we ended up getting Cadillac and I'm excited because I love it. Um, it's like so nice. It's like, sorry. It's like way nicer than the Cadillac I used to have. But it feels the same. It smells the same. So it's like really nostalgic. Has heated steering wheel. I think it has heated cup holders, heated seats, sunroof. It's very nice, but um, I'm in Boulder. I'm going to go into Snooze, which is like one of the top breakfast places that everyone recommends. I've decided to come out to this one just so I'm already here when it's time to go to the tea tour. So I'm going to get out, go eat some breakfast, walk around. There's this little like Pearl Street mall is really cute. So that's what the plan is, and I'm gonna go. Okay, I just made it to Celestial Seasonings for the tea tour. Um, I don't know how it works, <laughs> but I think you get to try like every tea that they make, which is awesome, because I love all of their teas. And then you get to tour the factory and see how it's made. But I don't think that you can um, film that or like take pictures during that. So I'll see what I can take. But I am literally so excited. This is like the whole reason I wanted to come here. I know that's kind of lame, but here we are. So I just realized that I haven't even picked up my vlog camera or made a video since I left the tea place maybe. It's much later today on Saturday. After I went to the tea place, I went thrifting. I stopped at a Goodwill, they had nothing. I tried to stop at a Salvation Army, but the parking lot was terrible and I couldn't find a spot, so I just didn't go. <laughs> and then I went to a another thrift shop that supported some um, wildlife um, conservation or something and the prices were crazy and it also was terrible so then on my way back from Boulder I just had like I was like oh, I'll just stop at this thrift store because um, someone had recommended the ARC thrift shop to me so I stop at an art thrift shop that was like right off the highway and I actually did find actually I found a good amount of things but because I'm traveling I didn't buy a lot I bought two things a little pocket change tray and then a little jewelry box and then I 
drove back into Denver. I stopped at Broadway Market, which is a food hall, and it was really cool. So I used to work with a food hall in back home in Atlanta, um, doing their social media, and so I'm, I kind of have a thing for food halls now, and it was a, a really cool one. It didn't have a lot to choose from, like, what I'm used to, but it was, as far as, like, amenities inside, it was really nice. And I got a burger. I don't remember the name of the place that I ate at. I think it was, like, a chicken place. I went to Little Man Ice Cream after that, and I waited in line for, like, I, don't know, I want to say it was like 20 minutes, but could have been shorter. It was worth it. The ice cream was very good, except they give you a lot of ice cream. So I got a single, which is like a one scoop, um, and asked them to split up the flavors. I got a salted caramel peanut butter, which was amazing. And then I got chocolate on the bottom, and I didn't even get to the chocolate. It was just too much, so... Then I had to get gas, <laughs> and then I went and dropped off my rental car. And then after that, I was planning on coming back to the hotel and just kind of like sitting for a little bit or taking a nap. And then um, walking back from the car rental place, I saw this cute little shopping center called the Milk Market. And, uh, that might be like the food hall part of it but um, shoot why can't I think of what it's called now dairy market yeah dairy market and it was very cute they had a bunch of little shops um, like local owned shops really unique indie kind of brand stuff there and I picked up a couple things for myself and then on the way back from there it got to be about dinner time and I wasn't like hungry but I wasn't not hungry so I ended up just staying and walking to the place I wanted to get dinner which I also forgot the name of it but I got pasta I got carbonara and it was so good and I could not even eat half of it um, so I brought it home but home <laughs> brought it back to the hotel um, but honestly, look at me now. Um, that was the first time that I've ever eaten dinner by myself, like at a table by myself. Um, yesterday would have been the first time I ate dinner by myself at the sushi place, but I ate at the sushi bar, so I don't like, I mean, that was by myself, obviously, but sitting at a table by yourself around other people who are not by themselves <laughs> is kind of weird. So... That was fine though. Now it is 8.30, which means it's time for me to go to bed. Like I went to bed earlier than this yesterday. So I don't know what the plan is for tomorrow, honestly. I kind of just want to do room service in the morning. Um, but I also kind of want to work out because I went up to the gym and there's a curved treadmill, which is awesome. Although I didn't bring running shoes and there's a Peloton. That was day two. I go home tomorrow, um, my flight leaves at 2, so I have to get to the airport at 12. And so I'm not sure what else I'm going to do after I eat breakfast tomorrow. I don't really, there's nothing else that I really want to do. Um, I mean, there's a lot that I want to do, but nothing that I can squeeze in, so. I'm going to go to bed. I'm so tired. Hopefully I can sleep better tonight, because... I start a new job on Monday and I don't want to be tired and sick. So wish me luck. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It's Sunday. Um, it's about 9.30 in the morning. I woke up at like 6.30 this morning and I actually slept a lot better last night, but still woke up like every three hours, every two hours. Um, and then when I got up this morning, I laid in bed for like an hour and a half and it felt so good. And then I actually went up to the gym. I don't remember if I said this <laughs> when I vlogged last night, but I went to the gym last night and they have a curved treadmill and a Peloton. And so this morning um, when I got in there, there was one other person on a regular treadmill right next to the Peloton. So I did a little running warm up. 
on the curved tread and then I jumped in a live peloton class for like 40-ish, 30 minutes and that was really fun. So that was actually the first time I've ever done an actual class on a peloton bike. Um, I got a bike, like a not peloton bike um, a few years ago and so I had the peloton app for that. So I did that um, a couple years ago and then I just realized I wasn't really using it that much so I got rid of it. So it was the first time using an actual peloton bike and I loved it. Uh, and then I came back and I ordered room service and so I have photos of that I can pop in here and then I'll show you in a second but I ordered pancakes, you can see them back here, pancakes, biscuits, um, I really wanted pancakes. I've been craving pancakes for like two days. So I ordered those, but I read some reviews that said they were kind of bad. So I also ordered their house-made biscuits just in case. Um, and as it turns out, the pancakes are bad. So I had like one bite. I'm so mad. It was like pretty expensive because it's room service. So the biscuits are good. Here are the biscuits. Um, they're kind of like a cornbread um biscuit which i really like and then it comes with this i think it's like a strawberry jelly and then they brought over all these other fruit jellies which i think were supposed to be for the pancakes and then i got coffee and then this is my view it's kind of nice and then i got um here are the pancakes but as you can see they're like super dry i did not like syrup um so I had to put syrup on these. The blackberries are good though. Uh, they're bad. So I might have to have pancakes at home when I go home. I'm starting a new job tomorrow. To celebrate that, I think I'm going to make Andy take me to breakfast um, this coming weekend because oh, my hair I worked out and I took a shower, but I didn't wash it. So um, anyways. <laughs> Uh, breakfast is like my favorite food but I like never eat it um, I love breakfast places and I feel like Atlanta has really good breakfast places um, which I have not found to be the case here in Denver which is strange but maybe it's just the area that I'm in but the place I had yesterday was very good snooze was very very good so let's make that clear <laughs> there actually someone messaged me on instagram and said that snooze is opening near me in atlanta so that's awesome um but yeah i love breakfast so i'm gonna see and he hates eating breakfast out he doesn't even really eat breakfast so i've been asking him to go a lot and he never does <laughs> so i'm gonna see if he'll do that as a celebration for my new job i'm getting a little nervous about it um, I have been doing a little bit of work leading up to it, not like working, but um, a little bit of research and getting some things together. Uh, we actually have a brainstorm the first day, um, an hour <laughs> after I'm supposed to get there, which I'm actually really, really excited about. I love brainstorms and the um, client that it's about is really interesting. So I've been researching the brand that we're going to be talking about and all of kind of like the background for how this project came about and all of this stuff so um it's been fun and exciting um but yeah i'm a little nervous as i always am when i'm starting new things so looking forward to that